and welcome. This is episode two of my Minecraft Create Mod Let's Play series. You can see the copper is all oxidized behind me. If I turn this on, it is day 98. I have a few things to show you and a few things to do. Um, you see I've expanded a little bit of my machinery there. Um, and I'm going to be doing some of this over live stream. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash spiregon. Uh, twitch.tv um, slash Spiregon, S-P-I-R-H-E-O-N, similar to the name down at the YouTube channel. Um, so far, I haven't been super predictable with how I've done these, but um, I try to get to it once a week. Um, Fridays or Saturdays, usually. But, anyway, it's a surprise when you're there. Follow me on Twitch, and you might see me stream and try to record or do some other stuff. So I'll start the stream now. See if I can do both at once. It looks like it's doing both at once. We'll see how this affects the video. But I'm going to start showing, this is where I'm gonna start showing off some stuff. Because I have been busy the last, I guess, 50 Minecraft days, about a week or two in real life, I think, since the last episode. And yeah, still roughly early game, but I wanted to show you what I've built so far. First of all, taking care of food here. Um, ignore the spider sound. You can build these minecart contraptions, and I will show you soon what those look like, but this takes care of my wheat needs. If you remember from my last season, I did a long wheat road, and I will do something similar in this one. You see how it sort of goes down the tracks as I get more, um, rails I can go further in fact I will do that now and you see it stops at that um, portable interface and I get lots of that this is also for my mining trip but even since then you can see stacks and stacks of wheat and seeds lots of stuff so since I have an excess of tracks here See, it just did all these new ones here. It doesn't quite get the ends because it uh, spins around too fast. I think so it's not quite engaged, these uh, mechanical harvesters. Um, and it goes to go a bit too fast, I think. But um, I think that's a good start. Definitely takes care of my food needs. Um, not that I'm that hurting for bread. I can leave one there going to become a good amount of bread. So that's machine number one. I think that's pretty cool. Machine number two, um, and when I do the final video of this, you will see some, um, what's it called? Is that it over there? I think this is it. Yes, this is um, my harvester machine. So you pick that up. Oh, right, my inventory is full. That is a problem. Anyway, these can be picked up and dropped off with the wrench. Um, I'll show some clips of me doing some um, deforestation. That's my deforestation machine. See, I can just go up here, be a certain distance away. You put it down, you push, and it cuts the tree. And if you're better with the placement than I am, you can keep going and cut several trees. And she leaves a stump. I find that a bit more convenient than, um, see this is a good spot because I can get three trees here. So there you go, push. So you cut down lots of trees up the tracks behind you you can put down some more if you don't have enough I have a lot of tracks right now but you get more as you get more iron and that's sort of been the limitation here um, oh I'm off the tracks okay so I've reached the end of this the other beautiful thing about this and you'll see this by other machine too I have a mining machine somewhere I actually don't know where I left it um, oh it is actually 
actually here. Okay, so my other minecart contraption. This is my number three, the digger. It's a six drills, two by three digger. I should be able to name these somehow, but goes in the hole. What I've been able to do with these is, uh, you'll see once this runs around once. I'll stop that and I can put this minecart contraption right here and it will also do that. And you can see wood, saplings, everything is showing up from um, all the deforesting I've done, which is probably a lot. Like I haven't emptied this, I don't think, in quite a while. So there is actually quite a lot of um, wood and trees coming in there. There's monsters around somewhere. Okay, so I've done that. So I pick it up. I can put the uh, the digger. Any more? Yes. So for my last one, you can see I'm picking up more items. This is going to get full very soon. Um, okay, so that's done. Pick that up, and then I can start this one back on its way. I'm a bit worried about this double chest here. Actually, inventory space in general is kind of a problem. Craft, I do. Okay. stick that one right here for now. Um, let's just stick all the stone and andesite stuff. So I'm not going to need this for how we go. Well, I need some of it, but not this much for now. I'm going to actually prepare for my trip to the nether with, I think that was one, two, three. Contraption number four here is a bit of a special one. and You'll see why this is important in a sec. This weird thing here and you'll see me make it work try to guess what this is for and I guess what I showed down there was a little bit of a hint but not really um, let me just put these away because where I'm going I'm going to want some protection Yeah, I'm actually not doing too badly for iron. I am going to actually just do that. I can make myself another pickaxe um, if I have the wood for it. <laughs> I just got I just got rid of all my wood, didn't I? How unfortunate. Backup pickaxe, a sword, an axe. You know, to be honest, the compass isn't really going to do me much good where I'm going. Or the clock, that's your hint number two. I'm going to have lots of food here. Some blocks. And I'm not going to go to sleep. Because time's running out to my 100 days. So if you haven't realized, this is micro minecart contraption number four is called the blaze hat. And I've been trying to find this nether fortress. Um, in fact, I'm actually going to find another. Well, you know what? I don't know. Do I go? I'm just going to go for it, I think. Because I, I have to dig the hole to get to the nether fortress anyway. So I'll explain on the way there. And for my episode, I'll cut through the various bits of this explaining why the blaze hat. How much way do I go here? Yeah, this way. 
There's a blaze spawner in this nether fortress, which I found. It's a little bit far away. I still have to do a little bit of digging to get to it. But, long story short, this nether fortress has a very difficult blaze spawner. I do need to get to it because I need the blaze rods. I need the blazes, which I don't have the tools for either. So, I'm not going to go in yet. And then you've got big, big drop-offs like this. I am going to make this a bit safer. And the blaze hat I've designed to fit over the blaze. I'm just going to pop it down, cover the blaze spawner, and hopefully don't get shot by blazes. We will see how that goes. I could have used my diggy machine, but I, yeah, didn't want to be here. I think this is where I want to be. I want to be by that nether quartz. Um, again, I think. The nether fortress is here. You see the blaze spawner. It's going to be very hard to get across this without getting... <laughs> and there's lava. Great. So I want to be coming through here. And in order to do that, yeah, I basically want to get down to that nether quartz and start digging. So I think I want to be at this height. But see, I'm burning through the nether, or the uh, iron pickaxe very quickly. So we'll see. I probably will need to start using my backup one soon. This could get bad, but ew, I don't, well, I don't have a boat. Not that that's going to help me up here. There's not really much that is, to be honest. Just going to try to keep my headphones in and ears peeled for when the blazes start, and that's when I run. I may need a mechanical piston bridge builder for this, to be honest. This is going to be scary. Hello. Did it. Terrible fortress. Some crenellations. I think I've activated the blaze spawner. Stick this hat in. This is my cue to run. Ooh, and watch where my mouse is going. And not get thrown off the top here. Okay. We can replay mod. We can go get our stuff and we can come back and do this. are getting sweaty. It's go time. Music really helps the mood. Or it doesn't. Depending. Okay, so. No, can't eat that area and not have the wither skeletons if any of them are around.
Clay's hat in the wrong spot. in these gaps. <laughs> I was way too far forward, okay. I do not have the lever, so I can't actually uncontraption this. I mean, I wish I had the replay mod on, but that was a lot less dramatic, I guess, than I... I think I see one around the corner. Yeah. Actually, wait a minute. Get absorbed, guy. There we go. Got one. I have two. I don't know. What, I thought I had four. Anyway, two is, well, a bit more than enough for what I need. I want to return with this loot. On Let it be known, on day 100, I did get a blaze burner. And actually, I didn't kill any actual blazes. Um, I usually have doors and I, I can section off parts of another fortress to make them a bit safer. Oh, are you kidding me? So my, yeah, off-centered blaze hat. That's where that went.
actually are stuck in the hat. It's just this little area here where they're not. I mean, it keeps them from spawning up here, right? So if they spawn there, they're kind of... skeletons to deal with. If I made this low enough. Just started to be night. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. First of all, I'm going to smelt this. Um, copper is actually going to be useful for here. Copper and zinc. So I believe you mix those two. A block of zinc looks nice actually. I feel like I could use that for something. But zinc is kind of rare I think. So let's see. I think what you can do here is you can throw a zinc and throw a copper in here. Need to get my engineer's goggles. See if it'll tell me what's going on. Put some of that away. I think I do need the blaze burner. Probably the blaze rod. But yeah, what I think I need to do here. Put the blaze burner. And that went. Mixing it up. Real alloys. Okay, so 
I can make all those things, including a brass hand. I now have a sheet and an ingot because I have this thing all running on one thing. Um, I may have to watch out for that. Okay. But that is very good progress. Actually. I should keep doing this. I want a brass hand. Is, do I have an andesite alloy? I do. Plus a way to get more if I need to. Yeah, the brass hand. Still doesn't tell me how to get a deployer. But I have a brass hand. I can do stuff with that, I think. Just it won't tell me, so I have to kind of look it up, I guess. But you know what? Yeah, see, I have a hand. One hand I have a shield, and the other hand I have a hand. Oh, I just knocked it off the edge. There we go. Five walking is hard. I'm actually better at that. See, I can now point at stuff and I go poke, 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 poke. That's where I think I'm going to end this now. There's a lot of stuff that brass opens up, like brass funnels. I think that's another one I kind of want to do. Um, yeah, brass funnels, deployers, all, all that fun stuff. That's where we're going next episode. And. We will also have a look at the, I don't want to call it a factory, because um, it's not going to look like a factory, but kind of machine assembly area that I'm going to be working on over here. This is going to get dug out with the bigger drills and stuff. Got my hot burning thing over here that will burn you, but will also smelt stuff. Um, where's my food? Can't eat brass hands, unfortunately. But we'll leave it there for this episode and hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you are seeing this on YouTube and you want to see more of this, remember to like and subscribe. I'll try to do this every week or so. Um, if, if not, I hope you enjoy your day or whatever else you're doing and um, hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.